So what part of Greater Manchester has the potential for the most capital growth in the future? That's a question we got asked from a client uh, for today's question of the day. And I'd love to be able to say it's this town or it's this street or it's this postcode. Uh, but the reality is nobody knows what's going to happen in the future. Um, that's crystal ball stuff to try and predict that. It's going to be very difficult uh, for anybody to say that this location is going to be the best for, for this reason uh, and try and kind of outline the, uh, the specific outcomes that are likely to be achieved. All we can hope for is to try and look at historic data and current fundamentals and then try and make an educated guess on what locations we think are going to be favorable over the coming years and the reasons and the kind of the, the, the solid kind of data and to say why that might be now personally we look for a host of things there's about seven different kind of criteria that we use to assess a given property in our own portfolio um, and I, we can put a checklist below this video which kind of give you a, a link to that and um, but in addition to that there's other things that we kind of look for so making sure there's strong home ownership in a given location making sure population growth is going up making sure that the location has um, investment going into it not just from um, companies but also infrastructure investment from local councils and things as well they're all good signs but it's the combination of data that we're really looking for and um, rather than trying to say this location this postcode this street is absolutely going to get this percentage of growth very difficult to do we're looking at a, a range of different kind of data sets to try and um, really assess what the, the potential is for any given area so the client that asked us that question was looking at Berry, Stockport, Preston um, as kind of comparable locations. And what they wanted to know really was out of those three locations, which are going to kind of have the highest growth. Um, as I said, it's impossible to predict. But what I can do is point you in the right direction of a tool that can hopefully assist giving you some insights into each individual area that you're looking at. Um, and then hopefully you can kind of explore those locations further and see which postcodes um, and locations might be most relevant for you based upon the data um, that you're seeing and, and what's specific for you. So if your preference is growth, great. If your preference is yield or if your preference is something that's going to sell quick, so maybe sure, oh, sorry, making sure there's good local demand um, from property buyers in that area. Everybody has a different criteria that they're looking at. Um, and this tool is designed to kind of show you um, insights to that. So it's called Advanced Property Insights. You can get it from the Google Chrome store currently, and it works on a range of different property portals. So when you're searching your property portal of choice and you're, you've got that um, Chrome extension downloaded, what you'll see is on that listing, you will have extra data for the location pulled into that local listing, basically. So you'll start to see things like capital growth over historic um, last five years. So you can see historically what that location has done. You'll also see kind of potential yield values for that area and then also demand. So what sort of um, market is kind of in that local area at the moment? Is it buyer's market? Is it seller's market? Are there lots of sales happening and are they happening kind of fast? So how long does it? traditional property uh, take to sell in that area so a couple of different data sets that are really helpful to, to hopefully give you more context when you're considering a potential location so we'll put some links in this video to the advanced property insights tool as well um, but just as a final roundup i would love to say these particular streets these particular postcodes these particular areas of manchester and greater manchester are going to get the most capital growth and uh, unfortunately it's very difficult to predict so i'd just say to focus on the data look at historic data and current fundamentals and then you can make an assumption and the best guess really based on what you're seeing as to which location might be the best fit for you. Hope that helps. All the best.